Let's see. Fantasy is going for the counterattack. The natural expansion, but he needs some troops back here badly. There is a defiler in to get the dark swarm, and all of his production buildings are going to go down if he's not too careful. Ridiculous. Zero. So zero's in here. Valkyries. Valkyrie pilots looking out the window. Hmm. Uh, Want to throw rocks at him or something? Well, I got a cup of uh, Coke here. Let me throw that. Just kidding, guys. I haven't drank Coke in about three weeks, I think. A few weeks, anyway. But that is completely irrelevant to this game. <laughs> Plague on all of the Valkyries. Yeesh. Going to lose these very, very expensive Valkyries. Another bad part about Valkyrie, it's freaking expensive. So Fantasy's going to lose pretty much all of those. And he hasn't really brought back many of his troops. He has them all in the middle of the map, and none of them are really doing anything. So Fantasy, you got to pull back right now and protect and protect those uh, production buildings. Otherwise, uh, he could just let the game go right here. He has a siege tank in the area. Most of his troops are at the front, but he's got to deal with Dark Swarm soon from Zero very, very soon. Zero is preparing. Uh, getting in the consume there, and now he's going to get ready to push out and get some Dark Swarm and take this game back. The Dark Swarm, of course, siege tanks do attack units under the Dark Swarm, but it's not complete damage, just splash damage. So, all oh, zero still inside this main, and Fantasy can't do anything about this. He can't get up that ramp, and he doesn't have any troops in the area to really take care of it. So, wow. Zero is going to ravage that main, but of course at the same time, Fantasy is taking an another couple of bases, so he's going to rely on the fact that he can protect his natural and the 3 o'clock and 10 o'clock, even though his production buildings are just gone. He pretty much has no production now. Trying to run around there, very weird game, because <laughs> Fantasy, is he's not going to have reinforcements streaming down the map. That is really what's going to benefit Zero here. The reinforcements are going to be cut off, so even if there are a lot of tanks out there, Zero, if he just keeps pushing and whittling down the army, he's going to be fine. Still inside the main with troops. Fantasy still hasn't taken care of this. He has one mine that will probably kill the rest of the group here, but the Lurker, everything's on fire. Yeesh, another drop at the 10 o'clock position but from Zero, and another drop. He's going to drop tw uh, two different locations, probably inside the main again, just to say to Fantasy, yeah, this main is mine now. You can just move out, you know, take your vultures, go home. But another Dark Swarm, beautiful Dark Swarms by Zero. Very quick reaction from him to do that. Oh, Doom Drop. Doom Drop inside the main. There's going to be so many troops here just to kill the production buildings. Absolutely ridiculous. Fantasy, I can see so many troops in the middle of the map, although that could be a lot of mines there, I'm not sure, but he just hasn't been able to do much with his army in this game. It's been a little bit ridiculous, but plenty of troops still at the 10 o'clock harassing that. <laughs> Fantasy's going to have to rebuild all of his production buildings and his supply depots. Wow. Zero is really hitting Fantasy where it hurts here. Tightening the noose. Youch. He's going to lose all all of these supply depots every single one is going to go down and that is probably going to end the game for fantasy i don't see a way he'll be able to have enough time to time and minerals to build what he wants here and uh, zero is doing great on minerals even though he's still at a, at four bases hasn't even taken his fifth yet he still has mineral intake out the wazoo man i've been saying that a lot recently but <laughs> another drop at the 10 o'clock from zero Going out with Mutas, I guess he plagues something up there. So going out with Mutas, maybe take that out. Oh, wow. Fantasy is just building factories all over the place. I don't see the Defiler up here yet, but I'm sure Zero brought one along just to help himself out at that 10 o'clock. No, he didn't. He's just going to attack with Lurkers. I guess there's not much to fight him back. So Fantasy a little bit screwed at this point. Zero is doing a wonderful job just keeping it four bases. Got his Ultralist Cavern up. And as soon as he gets his fifth base up, he'll be able to support an endless stream of Ultralis. Oh, come on. Give us a queen. Give us a queen, Zero. I want a queen. At least do it one infested command center. Come on. But we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Fantasy doing the sigh. Fantasy had a very weird, a very good strategy, I think. But he wasn't able to do anything with his army. That was the big problem there. He committed, I think if he put down another starport, maybe committed that to dropships, he would have had much more maneuverability on this map. But, yeah, he just couldn't do anything. He couldn't drop anywhere. He has, had his Valkyries out, but he couldn't really attack with those. He had to keep them by his army. It didn't stop the drop with the Valkyries. Man, that, that might have been a game changer if he could have stopped that first drop with Valkyries. But, yep, 
killing all the SCVs at this 3 o'clock base. Oh, a Lurker dropped from zero. He's just multitasking all over the place, doing a wonderful job. But okay, into the middle. <laughs> wow. Wow. At zero is actually going mass muta. He's doing a tech switch to mutalis because he knew he knows he took out all the Valkyries. So he's saying, "Eh, what are you going to do to fight this off? Nothing." So now he's going to come in with mutas. So many mutalis from zero. I'm hoping for a queen, but I think the fancy might tap out before we get a queen in this game. We'll see. And now fantasy trying to get out Goliaths, but I think that's going to be it. GG from fantasy. That was a ridiculous game. I expected I expected nothing less though from these two guys. Very innovative from both. I have to say that's a pretty good game from both. Fantasy just didn't quite have the right game plan to get damage done. He didn't get any damage done. It was a big problem. But well, this has been Nuke. Moving on.